Okay, this is about sizing wrought iron pipe for natural gas piping systems. Now this is a PowerPoint and it shows uh, what the codes are, uh, what size pipe should be used, for how long a length, and so on. So, uh, it's a step-by-step -step approach and remember, this is wrought iron pipe. This isn't uh, copper tube or anything like that. Uh, we're using the International Fuel Gas Code 2009 ex edition. There's probably a new one out now, but I doubt that it's much different. And I'm going to do a sample piping plant. Okay. Now when we look at this, we see that we have a meter here and we've got two branch lines, one up here and one down here. And we've got five foot run out to the branch lines and then we have each of these distances to uh, the different appliances. And we're going to size the pipe for all these uh, branches and drops. Okay. The total BTU input of the entire piping system goes through that one five foot piece of pipe. Okay. None of the rest of the, the branches or drops have to move the total. BTU, but this one five-foot piece does. So we're going to add up the BTUs. We got 25,075, so on like that, and we're going to add these up. Okay, here we got 15,000, 85,000, 25,000, 75,000, and 150,000. Okay, that's a total BTUs that are going through this little five foot pipe. Okay, so it's a total of 350,000 BTUs going through that five foot pipe. Now, we're going to add up the longest branch line. Now, this is this is a way they tell you to do this. This is uh, this is the uh, International Fuel Gas Code method. It may not always seem to make sense, but it does actually work pretty good. So let's find the longest branch line. Okay, take the five foot, add fifteen foot for this upper branch. 11 foot, 13 foot, 21 foot, and 5 foot. Okay, that's going to equal 70 feet. Now we're not doing these drops or anything, just the main branch line out to the last appliance. Okay, this is the longest one, so this is the only length you will need to make this branch calculation. Okay, you're going to take the longest branch, and the first thing we're going to do is size this uh, five foot piece here. So we take the longest branch, it is 70 feet. Now add up all the appliance gas inputs. Now that it's all the gas appliances because we're sizing this pipe. 25, 75, 150, 15, 85, and of course that equals that same thing of 350,000 BTU. Okay, we have two numbers now. We have the branch length of 70 feet, 
and the total number of BTUs that will pass through this one pipe. Okay, 70 foot branch length, 350,000 BTUs sizing that one pipe. Find the length closest to, but not less than 70 feet. Okay, we're going to use a chart and it's on page 32 of uh, the fuel gas code. It may be different uh, page number now. Uh, you're using natural gas. we are not sizing for propane. Uh, in our area, the inlet pressure is half an inch PSI or less. Ours is actually seven inches water column or a quarter PSI. The pressure drop is 5 tenths of an inch water column and the specific gravity of the fuel is 0.6. These are all things you need to find the correct chart. Next highest number if the amount is over the listed number. Okay. Now, I'm showing 70 feet that number is given on the chart. This is the actual the length in feet. Okay. And I go over and I find out the BTU input that is closest. Now I was 350,000 BTUs. If I used a one inch pipe along with this 70, I would end up with 237,000. That's less than 350, so it won't work. So we go to inch and a quarter, which is 486. Okay. Now, if at any time you can't keep up with this, just stop it, go back, understand, to make sure you understand, and go back and start again. Okay, 350,000 BTUs, 70 foot length was the longest length of branch, not the total of two together, just the longest branch. Uh, so we have an inch and a quarter pipe going from the meter to this first T. Okay, now uh, we're going to size the rest of these drops here. Now we're going to use that same length. We're not going to change the length because that's the only number you're going to use throughout this whole branch sizing. Okay, so we go uh, 25,000. 75,000, 150,000, that gets, uh, gives me all of the appliances that are in this branch. And up to this point, we're only sizing this pipe right here, because here's your first one, your second one, your third one. And we're going to use that same 70 foot branch length. So. Now we go to our uh, chart again and use that 70 foot like we did before and we see uh, 486, that was for inch and a quarter and we've got 237 for one inch so we end up with inch and a quarter there also. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and size the next length. That's this pipe right here. We want inch to quarter here and then inch to quarter here. Now we're going to size this pipe. We no longer have the 25,000 BTU appliance in here because it was going just through this pipe. So we take 75,000 off that first one, this one here. 150,000, and we add it together, we've got 225,000. 
Okay. Go to our chart. Again, we're at the 70 foot. Uh, 225,000. Uh, one inch will do uh, 237,000. So, one inch pipe. So, this length between here and here is one inch. Okay. Now, we're going to size the next one. Now, we're going to size this last piece. We're going to size here and the drop. The drop is just where it comes off the end of the pipe or comes off a T. Okay. The only appliance that is fed by this line is this 150,000 BTU appliance. Okay. So we go back here. 70 foot again. Uh, 237 for one inch. But we have 150. But if we go to three quarters, 126. So we're going to have to go with one inch pipe. Okay. One inch pipe for here to here and for the drop. Okay. Next, we're going to size the other branch. Now, when you're sizing these branches, remember that five foot piece in there you have. That's always got to be added in. So let's add that together. The five and the seven, 26, 18. And the 4 equals 60. So I've got a total of 60 feet out to this 85,000 uh, BTU furnace. Okay, I'm going to use a 60 foot branch length because I'm not doing the same branch as I did before. I'm doing this other branch down here. So 60 foot branch length. This is the only length we're going to use for all these calculations. And we're sizing just this pipe right here. Okay, 15,000 BTUs, 85,000 BTUs, because both of those have to go through here. And remember, we've already sized this pipe. So we've got 100,000 BTUs have to go through this red pipe here. Okay, 60 foot uh, length, 100,000 BTUs, three quarter will do 137, but half inch will only do 65. So you're going to be three quarter. So that's a three quarter inch piece of pipe right here. Okay, now we're going to size this pipe. 60 foot branch length, there's only one appliance on there and it's 85,000 BTUs. And here we go, I'm still on my 70 here, but that's uh, 60 foot branch length. And we got 85,000 BTUs. Three quarters will do it, but half inch won't because half inch is 65. Okay. So now we know three quarter is the uh, pipe for the last one. Now we've sized the branches, but we haven't sized these drops here. Now we sized the last ones on each one of these, but we haven't sized this, this, and this. So we're going to size these now. Okay. So we've got three sizes. Now when I size this pipe, it's like this pipe from here all the way to the meter is, is a separate pipe. I'm only sizing this, I've already sized these others. 
but we're going to use this length, 5 foot, 15, 11, and 6. Okay? So this is the length that we're going to use, 37. And how many BTOs are coming out of it? 25. So, 25,037 feet. Okay. There is no 37, so we go up to the next highest one, which is 40. Half inch will do 81,000 BTUs. So I can use half inch pipe. So this section, this drop right here, is half inch pipe. Okay, I'm going to size this one here, and we're going to take this length, five feet, remember it's just like it's one pipe without any other pipes there, five feet, 15 feet, 11, 13, and 8. Okay, that's going to make 52 feet. Okay, how many BTUs? 75,000. 52 feet, 75,000. Okay, we can't go 50, so we got to go 60. Uh, half inch will do 65. That's not enough because I got 75. So I have to use three quarter inch for the drop. That's this one right here. Three quarter inch pipe. Okay, we've got one other one we need to do. We're going to size that one down there. Now this one's probably going to be pretty obvious because it's 15,000 BTUs, but we'll go over it anyway. 5 foot, 7 foot, 26 foot, 5 foot, equals 43 feet. Okay. 43 foot main branch or branch length, 15,000 BTUs. Okay, we're 43, so we have to go to 50. The uh, uh, half inch pipe will do 72,000, we only have 15, so half inch pipe. This piece here is half inch. Draw. Okay. A few things to remember when you're uh, sizing pipe. When sizing branch piping, length to the appliance farthest from the meter is the only distance used for sizing piping for that branch. Not drops, that branch. Drops are sized by using the distance from the meter to the appliance at the end of the drop. Drops are sized using the BTUs of that appliance only. And this ends the gas piping uh, video. If you want to do more on this, uh, I'm going to put some exercises on the website under... Uh, gas piping, gas codes piping, and you can do some extra uh, exercises if you wish.